Have you ever wondered why some people seem to carry an aura of invincibility around them, while others constantly doubt their abilities? It's like there's an invisible shield that deflects negativity and radiates positivity. Well, it's not magic or some secret superpower. It's something called self-confidence. Self-confidence is the unspoken element that distinguishes the ordinary from the extraordinary, the hesitant from the decisive. It's that silent whisper in the ear that says, you can do this. It's the difference between those who dare to leap and those who stay on the edge, forever contemplating. In the grand theater of life, self-confidence plays a pivotal role. It's the key to personal growth, professional success, and overall happiness. It's the fuel that drives ambition, the anchor that offers stability in a storm of doubts. It's not some mystical trait, it's self-confidence, and guess what? You can build it too. At the heart of self-confidence lies a simple yet profound concept, belief in oneself. This belief, this self-assured conviction in your abilities and potential, forms the cornerstone of your self-confidence. But what does it mean to believe in oneself? It's about acknowledging your strengths and accepting your weaknesses. It's about understanding that you are a work in progress, continuously learning and evolving. You are not defined by your mistakes, but by your resilience, your capacity to bounce back and your relentless pursuit of growth. Your belief system, the lens through which you view yourself, significantly influences your confidence. If you perceive yourself as capable and competent, you project the same to the world. Conversely, if you're riddled with self-doubt, it manifests in your actions and demeanor. Remember, your belief in yourself sets the tone for how others perceive you. You need to believe in your abilities before expecting others to do the same. Building self-confidence is a journey, and like any journey, it starts with setting a destination. But not just any destination, mind you. It starts with setting realistic goals. You see, a journey isn't about sprinting to the finish line, it's about setting a pace that you can maintain, a pace that allows you to enjoy the journey. When it comes to self-confidence, this means setting goals that are achievable and measurable. It's about setting goals that stretch you, but don't break you. Goals that make you say, yes, I can do this. Small victories, my friends, are the building blocks of confidence. Every time you accomplish a goal, no matter how small, it's a step forward on your journey to self-confidence. Let me give you an example. Let's say you're an introvert who struggles with public speaking, and your goal is to become a confident public speaker. Rather than setting a lofty goal of speaking in front of a crowd of a thousand people, why not start with something more achievable? Perhaps you could start by sharing your thoughts in a small group meeting or presenting to a handful of colleagues. Over time, you can gradually increase the size of the audience and with each success, your confidence will grow. But here's the key. You have to celebrate every victory, no matter how small. Each time you achieve a goal, take a moment to acknowledge your success. Pat yourself on the back, give yourself a high five, do a little dance, whatever it takes to remind yourself that you're making progress. Because progress, my friends, is the key to building self-confidence. This journey of building self-confidence is not a sprint. It's a marathon. It's about taking small, consistent steps towards your goals. It's about celebrating every victory, no matter how small. And most importantly, it's about believing in yourself, believing in your ability to grow, to change, to become the person you want to be. Remember, Rome wasn't built in a day and neither will your confidence. Start small and keep going. Failure, a word that sends shivers down the spine. But what if we told you it's one of your greatest allies in building self-confidence? Now you might be wondering, how does failure, something we're all conditioned to avoid, contribute to self-confidence? Well, let's dive into that. We often see failure as a definitive end, a full stop. But in reality, it's more like a comma, a brief pause before we continue with our journey. It's a moment that allows us to reassess and realign our strategies. Think of it this way. Failure is just the universe's way of saying, hey, there's a better way to do this. In our journey toward self-confidence, failure plays the role of an unexpected teacher. It's like a mirror, reflecting back to us our weaknesses and areas we need to improve. 
And by acknowledging these areas, we can start to work on them, to grow, to evolve. This is where the magic happens. This is where self-belief starts to take root. Embracing failure rather than running from it allows us to learn invaluable lessons. It teaches us resilience, persistence, and most importantly, the art of bouncing back. It shows us that we are not defined by our failures, but by how we respond to them. That's a powerful lesson, one that can really bolster our self-confidence. The key here is to shift our perspective on failure. Instead of seeing it as a setback, we need to see it as a stepping stone. It's a chance to learn, to grow, to become better. It's an opportunity to prove to ourselves that we can overcome obstacles, that we can rise above, that we are stronger than we think. So let's start celebrating our failures. Let's start seeing them for what they truly are, opportunities in disguise. Let's start learning, growing, and evolving from them. Because remember, every failure brings us one step closer to success. Every failure is a testament to our courage, our determination, our resilience. Every failure is a chance to build our self-confidence, to strengthen our self-belief. So the next time you fail, don't beat yourself up. Instead, ask, what can I learn from this? Words have power, especially the ones we say to ourselves. Our minds are like fertile soil and our words, the seeds. When we plant positive thoughts in our minds, we cultivate a mindset of self-confidence. This is where the power of positive affirmations comes into play. Positive affirmations are empowering statements that we tell ourselves, designed to overcome self-sabotaging negative thoughts. They help us believe in our abilities, pushing us to take action. When we regularly practice positive self-talk, it's like watering and nurturing the seeds of our thoughts. Over time, these seeds grow into a strong tree of self-confidence, resilient against the stormy winds of self-doubt and fear. Imagine starting your day by looking in the mirror and saying, I am capable, I am strong, or I am enough. These affirmations can set a positive tone for the day, fueling our self-confidence. So start your day with a positive affirmation. Tell yourself, I can and I will. And I, building self-confidence isn't a sprint, it's a marathon. Just like a marathon, the journey to self-confidence is long, arduous, and filled with challenges. But it's also filled with milestones that make every step worthwhile. So let's take a moment to reflect on our journey so far. We began by unraveling the mystery of self-confidence. We understood that self-confidence is not an inherent trait, but a skill that can be nurtured and developed. It's the belief in our abilities, the conviction that we can achieve our goals, and the courage to face challenges. Next, we delved into the power of self-belief. We discovered its transformative potential and how it can change our outlook on life. We learned that believing in ourselves is the foundation of self-confidence, and it starts with the simple act of acknowledging our strengths and accepting our weaknesses. Our journey then led us to the importance of setting realistic goals. We realized that having clear, achievable goals is the first step towards building self-confidence. It gives us direction, keeps us motivated, and makes us accountable for our actions. We also embrace failure, our unexpected teacher. We understood that it's okay to fail because each failure is a stepping stone to success. It's a lesson that teaches us what doesn't work so we can find what does. Failure is not the opposite of success. It's part of it. Then we explored the power of positive affirmations. We learned how these simple yet powerful statements can change our thought patterns and boost our self-confidence. We found out that by repeating these affirmations, we can rewire our brains to believe in our capabilities and achieve our goals. So here we are at the end of our journey. But remember, this is just the beginning. The journey to self-confidence is ongoing. It's a path filled with self-discovery, growth, and transformation. It's a journey of becoming the best version of ourselves. The path to self-confidence is right in front of you. All you need to do is take the first step.